Blame your kiss as sweet as a kiss can be. I was diagnosed with uh, PTSD, just uh, having a hard time emotionally, mentally. Uh, I was, I had, I had been traumatized a couple of times by different things. I said, uh, I'm, I'm not going to continue with this. There's no reason for me to continue to live because I have no reason to. And I want out. A large number of veterans struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. Music therapist Conchetta Tomato saw a way to use her expertise to help them recover. We visited one of her weekly healing music programs and spoke with some veterans about their experience. In the beginning when we started the group, it was a, a true music therapy group. It had a lot of therapy goals, uh, working on self-regulation, emotional resiliency, trust of other people, but it's really, at this point, a way of supporting their self-expression, their creativity, and giving them a purpose to, to get out every day and to be part of the community. I was really sad. I had nothing, and the music just ignited something, and the people. A person with PTSD is sort of bombarded by a lot of different thoughts and intrusions about their safety and about um, their belonging. And um, it can cause some people severe anxiety. It becomes something that's sort of ringing in the back of your head, you know, am I safe? Is this okay? Am I in a, a safe place? You know, how can I be sure? Let me make sure. Or just a lot of avoidance of different things. There's often a real detachment between their feelings or their ability to, to really be in touch with their feelings. And you can't heal or you can't recover if you don't know what it is that's blocking you. And so many times those emotions that are inherently expressed in the music can be used as a catalyst for discussion and bringing those personal feelings up to the surface. I think it's the best, the best way to find out if something's wrong with you is admit you have a problem. Face the idea that you're not there anymore. That was in the past. So long as you know that, when you hear firecracker, 4th of July, it's going to bring it back. But you know what it is, you know how to deal with it. I see clouds of blue. You might not be cured, never, but you always can always treat it and you can always stay active. You don't let it be chill, you beat it. See, and that's my, that's my, and music helped me to fight it, I know this. We saw memory improvements, we saw um, attention improvements, control over emotional regulation, which is big, uh, being more tolerant of others, which is big. So all of those kinds of gradual, really slow little steps of improvement that over time became major steps of recovery. Even if somebody misses a session, the other participants will call them up to see how they're doing. It's that kind of, it's grown into that kind of support system. All I can think now is that life is worth living sometimes. You just have to find the right connection. Like right now, I'm not connected with my family at all. But there's, a, there's, a, there's an ember there in my heart for myself and other people.